100% right. I, I am never more comfortable than when I'm with my Army buddies. I feel the same way with my dog. You can watch the full interview today on the Today Show. It's right after Today in the Bay. Well, right now at 6, tight inventories and even tighter budgets. When it comes to life here in the Bay Area, we all know it can be expensive. But these days, from gas to groceries, your bottom line is growing. We are live with a closer look at the impact from the fastest price increases in decades. Plus, violence silencing the music in Oakland. A shooting outside Oakland's Fox Theater forcing the band to cancel the show. Why witnesses say the situation easily could have turned tragic. And... The clock's ticking for most of these guys, and uh, they want to go compete, and uh, there's only so many chances they get to do that. Cal football players open up about the outbreak that left so many of those players sidelined and where things go from here. This is Today in the Bay. It's Thursday, and a good morning to you. Thanks so much for making us a part of your morning. I'm Marcus Washington. And I'm Laura Garcia. We'll have a look at your commute and forecast coming up in just moments. But first this morning, the rate of inflation is now at a 30-year high. This is another indication the American economy is struggling to recover from the pandemic. And it certainly affects us all. Today in the Bay's Bob Riddell Live this morning in San Ramon, soaring gas prices that we're seeing here, really just the start of the problems. Yeah, unfortunately, you, you are correct. Good morning to you, Laura and Marcus. We're here at the Shell Station in San Ramon. And look at this, probably not a big surprise. Anyone who's been following up knows that these gas prices are just, uh, well, they're outrageous. It's four ninety-five dollars for a gallon of gas here, hovering close to $5 a gallon. I'm sure it's more expensive in other places. I want you to see what the overnight numbers are from AAA. This is a compilation of the average gas prices from the major cities in the Bay Area. Look at San Francisco, uh, Oakland, averaging $4.76 a gallon. You compare that to a year ago when it was around $3.30. So over the past 12 months, we've seen an increase of well over a dollar. And over just the past month, it's around a quarter. So you're looking at Average 476 Oakland, 485 San Francisco, average 477 in San Jose. Uh, within the past 24 hours, we learned that the consumer prices throughout the rest of the country rising faster than the analysts expected, up more than 6% over the last year. That's the consumer price index. Used cars and trucks, the prices of those up 26%, and the price of beef up over 20 percent. The economy is showing some signs of recovery from the pandemic. Last month, uh, the rate of unemployment dropped as the United States added a half million new jobs. But part of the inflation surge that we're experiencing is being blamed on the supply chain backlog, where goods arrive faster from overseas than they can be unloaded and sent around our country. The White House argues that these price hikes are temporary as the world emerges from this pandemic. The hope is that over time, once you get more workers back into the workforce, once you're able to unload all those ships, that the increase in prices will begin to lessen. Now, the White House has announced that it will be releasing $17 billion, roughly, uh, to help deal with the supply chain backlog. But that money's going to go to a project that could take projects, I should say, that could take years. So not necessarily going to help right now. And we're talking about this infrastructure bill, the trillion dollar infrastructure bill that President Biden will sign into law this upcoming Monday. Reporting live here in San Ramon, Bob Riddell, today in the Bay.